It had been three years. Three years of drought. Three years of hunger and poverty. England was brought to its knees. Only our walls had kept us safe from the bands of outlaws raiding towns and villages. Bishop Waleran and William Hamley forced the workers to finish their cathedral in Shiring. Many had died. The work on our own cathedral had almost come to a halt. Four weeks the storm had raged on. It was then that our cathedral gave up its last secret. And everything changed. I told you you wouldn't like the sight of this. It looks bad. But it's not the wall I'm worried about. It's good you sent the workers home during the storm. Now do us all a favor and do the same. Go home. Your children hardly get to see you. Tommy and Sally have been asking about you all morning. You'll kill yourself up here! That crack down there must have been due to the storm. If the storm works, I work. My cathedral was never designed to be this high. I know! I reinforce the walls. It cannot be the height. What else was damaged? I'd look myself, but I dare not come closer. If your mother knew I was up here at all, she'd kill me. Both of us. What? She would kill both of us! Careful over there! If we don't find out what's causing this, then the whole East Wall will come down. The storm is making it worse. If you're right. What about Aliena? She should be on her way back from Winchester now. Oh, I hope she's all right in this. Yeah, I hope so too. The vaulting is cracked. If I make it worse, then we'll at least know what the problem is. You're probably right. <sighs> All right. One more time.
And? What happened? If the vaulting were unstable, this part should have collapsed and the wall would retract. So, the cause of our problem is not up here? No. When we erected the eastern wall 17 years ago, there was also a crack. No matter what we did, it always came back. Remember? Yes. Yeah, I remember. But this is not the same wall. We rebuilt it. Still, could the cause not have been the same in both cases? Uh, maybe. The crypt! Huh. How I kept the whole foundation there as it was. But it, it never had to carry this much weight before. You're right. If the cause of our problem is down there, we'll find it. You go ahead. Don't you need help? Ah, I'll manage. Just don't tell your mother. Are you sure? Go on. I know you can't wait to get down there. <laughs> Neither can you. I'll just take a quick look and wait for you. They were enraged. Bishop Henry thinks that the Pope should hear about what you wrote. I think so, too. I would be honored if he read my book. Philip, I really am worried about you. There is no need for you to worry, Jonathan. It is just a book. The problem is that the people love your sermons and what you wrote even though most of them can't read. Your book is being copied in priories all over England. Is that not a good thing, if our message gives people hope? In desperate times, hope can be a powerful force. That is very true. Well, I fear the bishops. They might come to believe you took that power from them. Huh. Do you? Jack! Have you been atop the cathedral during the storm? Don't worry, Philip. The storm isn't as bad up there. Jonathan, did you and the others come directly from Winchester? Yes, we did. What about Aliena? She stayed a day longer for the fleece fair. She should be on her way back now. In this storm? We didn't expect it to get worse. No one did. I am sure she'll be all right. I need to go. I think I know why the East Wall is unstable. Yes? Why is that? I'm not sure, but I, I think the answer lies down in the crypt. I should hurry before it's too late. I better wait for Tom. I know he doesn't want to miss anything. Now it's down here, too. The first cracks are showing. That means we were right. The cause of the instability must be down here. The ground. Could be. The drought could have made it worse. We'll find out. If there's dry sand behind there, we know it's the ground. Just be careful when you work on that wall. If it's the ground and the foundation, the whole wall could cave in. Here we go. But... But what? I think I can feel a draft. What? One more time.
Jack, watch out! <clears throat> it's all right. What is it? Hmm. Dear God. These stones, they, they've been removed before. The mortar is missing on most of them. Whoever put them back just added some mortar on top of the stones. To hide the fact that they were removed. The tile at the bottom was completely loose. What does that mean? I think it was an entrance. An entrance? To where? That's what we'll find out. Careful now. You've got the whole east wall on top of you. Uh, Jack? Jack? I'm all right. I just hit my head. It's dark in here. There's a whole room here. A, a chamber. What's that? I'll get a torch. Philip, I'll get it. You stay here. Is, is that a, a coffin? Oh, there's sand everywhere. Uh-huh. It's a, a bed. What? There's a bed in here. What? Jonathan, we need that torch. It's... it's made of leather. It's... oh, it's a whip. What is that doing here? That's not wood. It's metal. Gold, even. I have the torch. All right, come in here. Should be safe. Yes. Did you know about this place? No. No, I did not. I have seen this chalice before, when I was very young. It's the chalice of the Eucharist from Kingsbridge Cathedral. Cuthbert told me about it. They said it was stolen. And melted down, I know. Mother told me. They also said it was my father who did it. Did they? So he's innocent, then? He must be. And whoever hid the chalice is responsible for his death. They hanged him in Shiring. For stealing this chalice. But it was here all along. That scourge. The whip. It belonged to Prior James. I was afraid of it when I first visited Kingsbridge with Francis and Abbot Peter. Even the look of it scared me. James. Maybe it was him. I think I saw him. During the night of the fire in the cathedral. When the old cathedral burned down. There was a man in the fire. His shoulders were bloody. As if he had chastised himself. It is you! By God and the devil! He told me that he had sinned, that he had done something to me. Perhaps because I looked like my father. So he confessed for framing your father while he hid the cup here? But it couldn't have been James you saw. James died weeks before the fire. Did he? You said they never found his body. Maybe he hid down here. Maybe that's why the bed's here. Wait. Jack, you were in the burning cathedral. What were you doing there?
Aye. And then I told Philip what I had done. He just looked at me. He didn't say anything. Wailerin, what do you want? Do you think it is wise to resign yourself to gluttony at times like these, while your people starve on the streets of Shiring? Don't play the saint. You promise them miracles, and you make them pay. But your miracles never work out, do they? God works in ways that we cannot comprehend. My mother cannot walk. You failed. Again. What do you want? I came about a book. The Bible, again. No. Philip of Gwyneth wrote it. And the church is displeased. Bishop Henry was enraged. This is our chance, William. Your chance, you mean. If you need forces, talk to Walter or Ugly. I don't care. I built your fucking cathedral. I'm done. It's not just about Philip. It's about Aliena and her family. Don't mention that name. But have you not heard? King Stephen and Maud's son just signed a peace treaty. I don't care. You should care. I said I don't. Now leave and don't come back unless I ask for you. <laughs> Where's my wife? They've not returned yet, Lord William. Then get me a whore! Now! I am sorry for intruding, but I must ask you for shelter. I was on my way from the Fleece Fair in Winchester to Kingsbridge and got caught in the storm. Nasty, isn't it? Yes. A and it's getting worse and worse. Thank you for your hospitality.
Hello? Oh, oh dear, are you hurt? My horse, it fell. I, I, I can't move. Take my hand. We'll get you inside. We'll only be here until it's safe to leave. We won't bother you. I'm Aliena. What's your name? Elizabeth. Breathe, Elizabeth. You're safe now. Mm-hmm. Shaytopak. Should have let her die. We would all be better off without someone like her. Hey, what are you going to do with that? I'm just going to borrow it. Let's try to get along until the storm passes. No, I must be careful with their things. They're watching me. I don't like this. Hold your horses. We'll see what happens. Kiff. We don't have much. But always enough for a lost soul. Eat this. You must be hungry. Thank you. That's nice of you. Why are you giving her soup? Dirt. That's what she deserves for dinner. What? Do you want her to starve? Please, don't start a fight. <sighs> What's she doing now? I don't know. I think she's freezing. Thank you. Hey, that's our blanket. Can't you see she's freezing? It's all right. It's just a blanket. Oh, you're so kind. Many people would have let me die. People don't listen to me. My entourage didn't even notice they lost me. Who? My husband and his entourage. Oh, a fine husband you have. I divorced my last one for less than that. Divorced? Oh, he's just been beside himself ever since his mother. Maybe now you'll understand what loss feels like. And what you people are doing to us. her. Can't you see she's upset? Kiff. How do they know you? This isn't right. Oh, I'm used to it. I guess that's how it is when your husband holds an office like that. He has to do a lot of things people don't like. And sometimes they recognize me, too. Wait. Is your husband the Earl of Shiring? I thought you knew. William Hamley. Oh, please don't abandon me too. I, I swear, I'm not... I, I, I can't... I, 
I used to know him when I was a girl. Really? Why did you marry him? My parents arranged it. And it was an honor to be picked. What's he like now? I loathe him with all my heart. How do you know him? He wanted to marry me when I was your age. Apparently, he likes young girls, no matter how old he gets. You too were supposed to marry him. How come you didn't? He was a beast. So I refused. Y you refused him? It caused a lot of misery. You're, you're so courageous. I wish I was like you. I, I can't even stand up to the servants. Don't act like you didn't have a hand in the downfall of this land. For years he roamed across the country to raid, rape and kill. I'm sorry. He's no earl. After all he's taken from us, we should take something from him too. <gasps> she has nothing to do with this. Don't you dare touch her. Can't you see she's another one of his victims? Oh, give over. She's in on it, too. Can you even imagine how it must be to be a child married to Hamley? The abuse. And the humiliation. Every single day. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I I'm crying because... You know, too. Enough to know your pain. I just... I just don't know what to do anymore. Tom, where the hell am I supposed to tether this horse? Oh, it's Walter. He's looking for me. Quick, take this. That should do it. Walter. You. I've not seen you in a long time. William would be very pleased if I brought him your head. No! Don't harm her! If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead. She saved me from the storm. Did she now? Come on, we have to get back to the castle. We've lost too much time already. It's all right. You don't need to sacrifice yourself for me. Thank you for saving me and protecting me from these people. Come on now, we need to get going. William is waiting.